Pastor Day. Thank you. This is the prayer item that is that can help you to to do exploit. And I've come to tell you this morning, Jesus died for one reason: that the power that was in the hands of God will be invested in us. Because the Bible says we carry God, we carry the Holy Spirit, and we carry Jesus in us. Ah. Hallelujah. How many are feeling the presence of God here this morning? It's going to be a powerful night. Amen. Are you feeling, are you feeling God here tonight? Are you feeling the presence of God? Amen. I'm, I'm born again today and uh, I love God. I love Jesus for loving me and uh, uh, choosing me to be his son and uh, allowing me to be part and parcel of his uh, body and I believe tonight there is something that God is going to speak to us in a very powerful way. I want to welcome our brothers and our sisters who are watching us online. We are live on Facebook. We are live on uh, uh, YouTube and I want to request you whenever you're watching us from you can share that video. You can invite a friend to watch together with you and as well you can go to our YouTube channel Sozo Ministries Juja and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and the Lord is going to bless you in Jesus mighty name hallelujah uh, tonight I want to I don't know whether it's to begin or because I'm gonna take some time on it I want to talk about the blessings of a father hallelujah barakaza barakaza baba and I know all of us it is our desire and our prayer that anytime we gather in the presence of God we may feel that presence of a, uh, the blessings of a father because that is all that we need. Uh, you can, uh, it's all that we need in this life that we live. I want you to open your Bible in the book of uh, Genesis 28. Genesis chapter 28. I'm going to read uh, verses 1 through 6. And then I'm going to mention some few things very quickly. Amen. There will be a, a divine impartation of the blessings of a father in the house. Uh, the Lord has been ministering to me some, something from yesterday. And, uh, I was feeling like blessing people, like blessing somebody yesterday. I don't know whether you, you were able to tap the blessings. And uh, huh, it's good to be blessed, of, to be blessed of the Lord. Are you there in the book of Genesis 28 verses 1 to 6? I'm leading in my New King James Version. And uh, if Peter or, or Ken, you can take a microphone and sit somewhere there. Because I'll be asking you to read something for us as we continue today. Genesis 28 verses 1 to 6. And I'm reading in my New King James Version. And this is the reading of the word of God. Then Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. There is something that I want you to, uh, to get a hold of this verse that uh, Ibrahim, Isaka arimuita Yakobo na kambaliki. In other words, the blessings za mungu ama blessings za baba ni zile ambazo zinafanyo on one on one. One on one. Isaka alikuwa na nguvu ama uwe chilia baraka kwa Yakobo akiwa mahali pengine. Lakini maniko nasema, and Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. Before even I, I read that, I want to put this in your mind and put this in your understanding. That sometimes when the father wants to bless you, blesses a son or a daughter in a fellowship. Katika ushirika. And that's what I've been telling people. Sometimes you may feel that like you're watching the live stream at home. Yes, it's good to watch at home. But it is good to be in the fellowship. In the fellowship there is a divine impartation of the blessings. And that's why the Bible says that Isaac called Jacob and blessed him. And charged him and said to him. Now, there are two things that I want you to understand of that package. One, he called him to bless. Say he called him to bless. He called him to bless. And secondly, he charged him and said to him. Now, 
when there is a blessings of a father it is followed with the uh, instructions and you wanna and whoever believe in him not perish but have everlasting life whoever believe in the father he will in particular the blessings of god which is eternal life in other words there is a regulation there is an instruction that you need to do for you to receive the impartation of a father and he said to and he said to him you shall not take a wife i need some basic dogo you shall not take a wife from your from the daughters of Canaan now in the instruction peter yes i'm going to bless you amen i'm going to make you the blessing that i've announced unto you and uh, even i just go back to Genesis 27 verses 4 Genesis 27 verses 4 27 verse 4 the bible yes. says umetoa tuta yote and make me savory food mm-hmm. such as i love and bring it to me that i may eat that i may that my soul may bless you before i die now is telling jacob actually he was not talking to jacob he was so, so, talking to esau because esau was yes and esau was a hunter and jacob was a farmer and now the time for jacob i mean isaac ilikuwa imefika kufa anataka kubariki the son na kumwambia enda unichinjie ama uni chakula nzuri ninaopenda and then I'll bless you yes the blessings baraka chiliwa he telling him something what is happening with my voice it has a battery i don't know why it's ina punguza ina ina fluctuate akamwambia nitengenezee chakula ninachokipenda then i will bless you Now in verses in the next chapter now is Genesis chapter 28 mm-hmm. Isaac is calling Jacob to bless him but before he release the same blessing he's telling him that you shall not take a wife from the Canaan from the daughters of Canaan in other words and I'm anachilia the instructions mm-hmm. number one, he is there is a, something that we call a call to blessings kuna ule mwito wa kuachiliwa baraka every father guardian every uh, mzazi aliye na mamlaka anawaita watoto wake na kuachilia baraka lakini before he do that there, there is something else that we call instructions uh-huh. because every blessing that falls in our life it must be guarded it must be protected it must be under the jurisdiction of the instructions oh yes and that's why you cannot you cannot just live a life that you want to live and enter in the in, in the kingdom of heaven mm-hmm. there is the instruction that god has put on your way you shall not kill remember god spoke to the children of israel and he told them that i'm going to take you to a promised land the the land that i promised your father jacob isaac and ibrahim but when they were in the wilderness the bible says god introduced the ten commandments which were instruction of god to guard them to protect them to put them into the boundaries of the jurisdiction of god so that they can reach to the blessings of god which he has promised the fathers of their fathers oh yes sure and he continues saying in verses 2 alize and go to padan and aram to the house of bedeo remember bedeo was representing the presence of god ukisoma hapo chini utaona mahali ambapo ah uh, yakobo anaenda analala analalia jiwe ambalo lilikuwa ni madhabahu ya baba yao na akiwa amelalia kichwa chake pale maandiko nasema the bingu likafunguka na malaika wakashuka kwa ngazi na alipoangalia kona vile bingu lilifunguka akasema hakika mungu yuko hapa and what he did he went to the house he went back to home he anointed that oil, uh, that stone and he called that place bedeo okay so you understand yes uh, uh, the meaning of the word bedeo bedeo your, your mothers your mothers and your fathers 
and take yourself a wife there of the daughter of Raban, your mother, your mother's brother. Verses 3. May the God Almighty bless you. Now, the, he's, he has already given out the instructions. And now, he's proclaiming, he's declaring Baraka. Mana Baraka, ambazo hazina, hazijewekewa mipaka, hazina impact. And the man on honor, kuna baba wengi sana mbae wanarani watoto wao, lakini hizo rahana hazina, hazina ground. Na baraka ambazo zinachiriwa, ambazo hazina ground, hazina, hazina, hazina nguvu, hazipati mali pakujishikiria. Yo mana mungu wanamtahadisha Yakobo, wanamambia kwanza litakubaliki, lakini, jambu la kwanza, don't marry, don't walk out from the boundaries of the people of, of the children of Israel. In other words, better, better in represent the presence of God. If you want the presence of God, the power of God to be fall on you, you must make sure that you walk and live and do and be in the boundaries of the children of Israel by the commandments of God which he has, he has put on top of the children of Israel. Usitoke katika zile mipaka ili ukaweza kupokea baraka. Don't marry from a Canaanite. In other words, usitoke inje ya kanuni ya mungu. Jambo la piri, anamambia, ni lazima ukende katika inchi ambaye baba yenu na mama zenu pewa ambaye likuwe na ito bedeni. Ni lazima ukaishi na kukaa katika wepu wa mungu. Don't walk out of the boundaries of the presence of God. And now, after kumambia haya mambo yote, verse 3 anamambia, may the Lord God Almighty bless you. That is number one. The father has a blessings has a key to release the blessings ambazo Mungu ameweka katika maisha yako. I want you to understand this very well. There are blessings of a father and there are blessings of God. Lakini ili baraka za baba za Mungu aliyemumba wa bingu na bingu zikashuka juu yako zinahitaji ufunguo ambayo uko juu ya mamlaka ya baba. Say it again. For the blessings of God to fall on you, the Father has the key to release the blessings which God entitled to bless you. Amen. And that's when Maniko Nasema, may the God Almighty bless you. That is number one. Number two, and make you fruitful and multiply. Akufanye ukazae matunda na ukongezeke. That is the blessings of a father. That you may be a symbol of the people. Ili ukaweze kuwa katika kongamatu ama kusanyiko rawatu. Yes. Number four. And give you the blessings of Abraham. Abraham. In other words, the blessings of our father. The blessings that are connected in our brand line, in our lineage, in our genealogy. Yes. They are the keys are in the mouth or our in father. the tongue. Of a father. Amen. Hey, this is powerful. You know, sometimes we say blessings of a father, but we don't understand. Mm -hmm. Now, he continues saying, To your descendant and and to to you and to your descendants with you. With you. Mm. Kwako, na kwa kizazi chako, na kwako. What's the blessings of a father? They don't just go be they don't just go until uh, they don't has the end to baka mahali ulipo but they go beyond you. Mm -hmm. The you same case hivyo ndivyo rana inavyotembea. Mm. Prayer blessings upon your life. I don't just bless you but I bless you and I bless your children. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you are you following me? Yes. Now that you may inherit the land in which you are a Baraka za Mungu ama baraka za baba zinakupa cha kukubalika na nchi cha kukubalika na dunia cha kukubalika na atmosphere na hali ilivyo na kukubalika na mahali ulipo ndio maana unapata watu wengine wanagonjeka magonjwa magonjwa mengine yanakukataa ya mchanga kama unapata unaambiwa usikule usikule hii usikule kile umekataliwa na chakula umekataliwa na mchanga wengine unapata wanakataliwa na anga mtu akie Mali kwa balidi, awezi kaa Anagonjeka asma Mwili wake umekataliwa na anga Mwingine anaenda, anambiwa 
usikule kitu fulani usifanye kitu fulani maana amekataliwa na anga lakini Mungu Yakobo anamwambia Isaka anamwambia Ibrahimu yakuwa nitakubariki wewe na kizazi chako na wewe ili ukaweze kurithi dunia ukaweze kurithi inchi in other words you be accepted by nature and atmosphere ambapo unaenda ukienda ngambo unakubarika ukienda inchi jirani unakubarika ukienda mahali pengine pote unakubarika maana una zile baraka za mchanga yes na jambo lingine kuambia in which you are a stranger in other words you will be accepted even into the land that is not your land kuna kitu niliambia Mungu aliponiita na kanambia nimekupa mataifa i will not struggle to fight nations maana nimepewa mataifa i have the keys for the nations Mungu aliponiita hakunita nihubiri Juja hakunita nihubiri Kenya aliniita nihubiri ulimwengu so i carry the keys i carry the anointing to the nations in other words if i go to any nations i don't need to beg i need accepted ninakaa kana kwamba niko Kenya maana niko na nimeweza kuwa na zile baraka hata mahali ambapo i am a stranger na na saka kaendelea kumwambia which god have gave to ibrahim in other words the baraka ambazo ziko kwako baraka ambazo ziko kwa wale watu walio na mamlaka juu yako they can become your blessings if only it is pronounced by a father it is only a father ambaye anaweza pronounce baraka ama akupe kitu ambacho sio chako na kiwe chako are you getting something it is only a father who can pronounce something that is not yours and become yours amen ana maana anamwambia which god gave to who abraham abraham now this is the the the, the second generation speaking to the third generation na anamwambia anambariki na baraka za ibrahimu and the, and jacob was the grand son abraham to ibrahim verse 5 So Isaac sent Jacob away and went to the Padan and uh, Padan Aram to the Raban the son of Bethel the Syrian the brother the brother of Rebeka the mother of Jacob and Esau verse 6 Esau saw that Isaac has been blessed Jacob and uh, blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padan and Aram to take him and a wife from there and that was he that as he blessed him He gave him a charge saying you shall not take a wife from a daughter's canon. There are few things that I want to mention ama the process of blessing the process of father's blessings. Uh-huh. Ambaye aweza kutushikanisha na baraka za baba because that is what we desire. I want us to see the blessings the process that we need to undertake so that we can be able to capture the blessings of a father praise the lord amen glory to jesus oh, hallelujah because it is not just being blessed by your father there is a process that you need to undertake yes there are some steps that you need to follow for you to receive the blessings of a father in the book of proverbs chapter 1 verses 8 proverbs chapter 1 verses 8 yes my bible son. says are you there you can read for us peter my son Hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. Now, the first process that you need to undertake mm. it is called the path of duty. Yes. The path of what? Of duty. And that is where we miss the blessings of our father. Mm-hmm. Remember there is a prophet in the Bible by the name Elijah. The Bible says Elijah served was served by Elisha for more than 11 years. Ni kweli? Yes. But when I went uh, when I look at the Bible in the beginning the Bible says he received the impartation na akauza ngombe akachinja ngombe na akavunja vunja zile vijembe za kulima na akauza akawachinjia wafanyikazi and he followed Elisha. In other words, Elisha was not a poor man. He was a rich man. Yes. Because Elijah did not have anything uh, Ken. 
alikuwa hana chochote but Elisha Elisha he was a farmer he had employees he had some bulls and some zile majembe za kulima mirao mirao but when i went around the whole bible I notice one verse ambapo ile kazi ambayo Elisha alikuwa anafanya. Hebu fungua 2 Kings chapter 3 verses 11. Second Kings chapter 3 verses 11. Chapter 3 11. The Bible says, uh, but Jehoshaphat mm-hmm. said, is there no prophet of the Lord here that we may inquire of the Lord by him? So one of the servants of the Lord of the king of Israel answered and said, Elisha the son of Shaphat is here mm-hmm. who poured the water on the hands, hands of, of Elijah. Sikisha hapo. Now Jehoshaphat is looking for somebody he can bless. Mm-hmm. Somebody who can receive the reward of a prophet. But he said there was one man by the name Elisha mm-hmm. and his assignment was to pour hands water into the hands of Elisha. In other words, his assignment was to serve Elijah. Elijah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And many of the time tunaulizanga Mungu, tunauliza tunasemanga you go to a preacher and tell the preacher, I need the double portion of the anointing. Uh-huh. The double portion of the anointing, hai shuki too. The father's blessing does not just come. Mm-hmm. I've seen so many people wakidanganya wanaambia rete bahasha, rete kitu fulani, lete mbuzi nikubariki. Ah! Baraka za baba hazifanywi namna hiyo. Number one, Elisha had to leave everything to serve Elijah. Uh-huh. Iyo ni number one. Kwa hivyo hiyo ni deni. Sawa? Yes. Number two. Alipokuwa na wachwa, ni lazima baba angemwachia the assignment ambayo alikuwa anafanya ili endelee. And for you to go faster than your father, you must be somewhere far ama juu mahali kuliko babako alipo if your father was learning at 60 km per hour a son should learn at 80 km per hour mm-hmm. that is the spirit of a father now eresha anamwambia eria give me the double portion of the anointing kumaanisha the anointing ambayo niliachilia chochote nilichokuwa nacho and i served you that is number one. yes And the second anointing was the anointing to take over from you. Mm-hmm. And that's why it is called the double portion double of anointing. Portion. My son, hear my instruction mm-hmm. of your father. And do not forsake the role of your mother. Serve them for you receive the impartation of a father. Number two. In the book of Rome, uh, Proverbs chapter 6 verse 20, the Bible says, "My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake the role of your mother." Number two, the, the second process of the father's blessing, it is the path of blessing. Tumesema ya kwanza ni ile utaenda kazi. You serve that person. Serving the father. I was I was somewhere yesterday we were doing the lunch hour in Kitengera last jana. And the son from that uh, ch- the pastor from that church is the is the son of Apostle William Kemani. Mm-hmm. He observed him. Alikuwa wamefanya naye kazi sana kabla kufungua kanisa. If you can ungekaa pale nje na ujajua ni nani na ubiri, he was speaking this kama yeye anaomba kama yeye na hata ukimsikiza unafikiria Apostle Kemani yako huko ndani but he's not Apostle Kemani. He served him And any time you serve the father there are three ways you can receive the impartation of the father one it is through service kufanyia kazi jambo la pili it is honoring the grace maana maandiko nasema you whoever shall honor the prophet he shall receive the reward of, of the prophet. prophet so if you honor the prophet automatically you receive that reward number three. It is when you desire and serve God katika ile area of the calling of your father. Kuna watu ambao wanasabu Mungu nasema mimi Mungu ningetamani kuwa kama mtu fulani na unasabu Mungu unajiachilia mbele za Mungu automatically you receive the impartation of that father. Now the second path it is a path of blessings. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 and 22. Proverbs 4:20 22. Maniko nasema my son give attention to the words incline your ear 
to my saints. saints. Do not let them depart from your eyes. eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them hmm, and held to their flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. This is powerful. The words of your father. I remember when I got born again, that was many years ago, more than 20 years ago. My father was typical Catholic. Kabisa, mm -hmm. I remember even in school, my father pushed me to go to the school, Zile za ki, 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 za Catholic. ki Catholic. Because his desire was me to become a father. And I remember in one time in my life, I, I was an altar boy. I was helping the, the, the father to do the services and sometimes you could take wine to nalewa sana tunaenda nyumbani kama tumelewa lakini hatukujua ni kulewa tunasikia kumo na kichwa tunafikiria ni kichwa lakini nikuja kujua ni ulevi but i and uh, i remember when i got born again my father did not like that tatukwa alinikosana kwa muda na kanambia wewe hiyo njia ambayo unapitia hiyo njia sio mzuri and my father said now sasa mimi na wewe tume tumeachana but i could feel that conviction of god that god has called me to serve him like two years later babangu akaza kuni observe and he begin to notice something was happening in my life i was becoming more better i was becoming more devoted and more obedient nyumbani and one day he called me and told me now i think i think the hii kitu ulifanya ni mzuri atataka kusema ni wokovu because hako anataka yule maneno wokovu. Kanambi kitu ulifanya inakaa ni mzuri. And uh, I want to tell you continue. And uh, before my father died, kabla kufe. He told me my son, you be a great man. Hii kitu you be a great man. And I took on that word. Hata wakati mwingine mapepo zinaponiinukia, wakati mwingine mambo inakuwa magumu wakati mwingine kanisa inakuwa inasumbua you feel like you need to cross the church i always decline on the word of my father that you be a great man uh -huh. ninajua this is just a wave of storm na itasimama because i gonna make it because i i incline on my on my father's word the manner the, the writer of the proverbs zema do not let them not depart from your eyes what hayo mambo yakawe katika macho yako yakawe katika masikio yako yakawe katika moyo wako na anasema inakaa kama auhai ambayo unapeana afya njema katika nyama in other words the blessings of the father can give you a good health amen na ndio unaona magonjwa mengine tunagonjeka it is not magonjwa ya, ya kawaida mm -hmm. i've been telling people here sometimes you go to the doctor na kuuliza ah uh, hii sukari kuna mtu mwingine kwenye na alikuwa na sukari there is a statement that the doctor want to make but it, because they are not spiritual they are just doctors hawaezi kuelewa inamuonyesha in the in the line of the medical practitioner inamuonyesha hiki tu ni adamu lakini hafungu hawezi kupata ile interpretation ya kuwa sio tu damu it is something that comes by the power of the word kuliza koni kwani kuna mtu alikuwa na sukari kwani kuna mtu anagonjeka kifafa kwani kuna mtu anagonjeka a e cancer unaulizo hiyo maswali but sometimes sometimes tunajibu daktari anawaambia eh auntie yangu aliwawa na sukari lakini atuelewi it is something that froze in the blood line because anything that froze in the blood line inakuwa the genesis of that thing it is the pronunciation of the word maana unaona baraka zinaenda maana tumesoma in genesis 28 alipombariki yakobo alimwambia nitakubariki wewe na uza wako na wewe na watoto watoto wako na zile baraka za Yakobo zitashikanishwa na wewe hata kama uko the third generation because it is the power of the word ndio maana namwambia hapa ya kuwa that the, the, the for for the for the alive to to those who find them ukishika hilo neno la baraka it can give you life that's why the bible says that honor your father and your mother and you shall live long your days shall be prolonged maana kuna vitu vitatu vinaua watu ama vinaleta magonjwa jambo la kwanza uh -huh. ni maji the water that we take hayo maji uki ukihakikisha hayo maji ni masafi utaishi miaka mingi jambo la pili ni hewa 
ambayo tunapumua ama hewa I mean, maji niweke kwa chakula maji na chakula hizo zote zinaleta magonjwa ndio maana unapata akina shosho like i have my shosho now he is 115 years ako na meno yote 32 na hana mvi na hajainama m oyo da ishi 115 hajainama hana mvi na ako na meno 32 na ako hai baka leo she is alive hao ndio unajua kabla maumau wakuje wakipigana ma watu wakawawa na kupe hiyo hadithi yote na memory yake iko sawa hata leo hii ukienda atakujua ni wewe she still alive the mother of my mother the that thing that kills people it is stress magonjwa ya mawazo ukikuwa ukiwa na mawazo mengi unagonjeka high blood pressure unagonjeka diabetes unagonjeka sukari unagonjeka ulcers hayo ni magonjwa yanaletwa na mafikila mawazo kwa hivyo chakula hewa na mawazo tatu zile zinaleta magonjwa katika maisha yetu but when you can if you can decry to the word of the of the father maandiko nasema your life hayo maneno yanakaa kama uhai it is health to your flesh you can live long you can live many years desire to receive the word the blessings of the father because it is the word that brings blessings into our life na jambo la tatu ambalo ama the process of the blessings it is the path of the promise the path of the promise njia ya hadi Yesu Kristo alipokuwa duniani maandiko nasema in Matthew in John 14 verses 2 akasema in my father's house there are many mansions if i was not there if they were not so i would not have told you i go and prepare a place for you that was a promise na kwa hivyo tunapoishi katika maisha ya wokovu hata wakati mwingine unasikia kana kwamba utaachana na Mungu you feel like you gonna live God and live your own life you remember the promise of Jesus that I'm going to my father to make a place for you sure na Yesu wakati wakikishia akatuambia if it was not so I could not have told you because Jesus cannot lie so the word of the father it is the path to the promise ni njia ya hadi When the father pronounces a blessing to your life, he pronounces promise to you. Maana ahadi ndio inatuweka tunaishi. Kile kitu kinafanya mtu afanye kazi kuanzia tarehe moja mpaka tarehe thelathini bila kwenda kwa ofisi kuitisha pesa kila siku ni kwa sababu there is a promise mwisho wa mwezi utalipwa pesa zako. So kila siku una hesabu bingi ukifika tarehe tano unajua that minus 5 nimebakisha siku 25 nilipwa mshahara. The promise of the end of the month salary keeps you working every day amen yeah. now the word the process of the blessings of the father number three, it is the path of the promise and in the book of first peter chapter 1 verses 4 first peter chapter 1 verses 4 the bible says to an inheritance mm-hmm. incorruptible and and defiled now hold on to a to an inheritance ambayo it is uncorruptible mm-hmm. sio kitu ambacho kin, kina ufisadi it is something that you are sure of it is something that cannot be changed it is something that cannot be taken away it is something that you are sure i have it i gonna get it i gonna have it aha uh-huh. and undefiled kitu ambacho hakijatiwa na jisi and that does not fade away na kitu ambacho hakiwezi kiondolewa reserved in heaven for you kimeweka mbinguni kwa ajili yako so when you hear such a word it keeps you going it keeps keep you uh, pushing maana paulo alisema i am pushing on i am to, I'm, i'm i'm pressing on i'm pressing on to the structure of christ nina sijafika pale i have not been i'm not perfect but every day i'm pushing on to become like christ because there is a promise Maniko nasema even when Jesus was on the cross uchungu wa mkataba haukumshika pale the pain of the cross could not sustain Jesus because he was not focusing on the pain but Jesus was looking at the prize that was ahead of him sure and that prize pushed him hata mm-hmm. akipigwa viboko anajua nipigeni viboko but there is a promise mm-hmm. and the bible says when he conquered everything he was given a name 
that is above every other name by the mention of that name Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. is Lord the promise the path of the promise mm -hmm. that even when things are not working there is a word ambayo nilo katika maisha yangu because many at the time can shetani atahakikisha lile neno lililo neno walitakawia prophesy neno ikambua you shall be a great man you shall be proper, prosperous umeishi miaka 30 35 haujafika pale shetani anakumbusha na kuambia oh huyo huyo baba alikuwa ni muongo alikudanganya alikucheza kwa kwa, kwa lugha ya kisasa but what can keep you going and stand in the promise of god it is that word it is the path of the promise through that word that was declared in your life oh yes na mimi hata nikiamka kila siku asubuhi and things are not working the way i want them to work i know there is a word that was mentioned upon my life ninakumbuka vile mungu alisema katika jeremiah 29 mstari wa 11 beyond i have a good plan for you not the plan the plan to mess you but the plan to give you a good future and a good ending and hope nina hiyo tumaini even though things are not working today there is a promise Even though things are working mambo yanakaa yaende vizuri ninakumbuka kuna hakikisho mm -hmm. Daudi akasema in in the book of Daniel chapter I think chapter 7 or chapter 11 that those who know their God they shall be strong so, not just knowing God atakujua Mungu anaishi mbinguni it is knowing God and his power it is knowing how God can do maana mm -hmm. kujua Mungu kila mtu anajua Mungu hata shetani anajua Mungu even the devil knows God lakini sio tu kujua Mungu ni Mungu ni kujua Mungu na vile anavyotenda na maandiko nasema those who knows their God they shall be strong and they shall do exploit amen hallelujah amen and finally promise number four, the path of hope hey the path of hope the path of hope njia ya tumaini in the book of in the book of uh, Job is it Job 147 of 714 nasema even though the tree is to be cut down it will, to, it will sprout again hata itapokuwa mtu umekatwa unakaa maisha unakaa hauwezi ukatumika tena watu wanaanza kusema hii kitu ipasulue ikuwe mbao ikuwe kuni maandiko nasema hicho kipande kilichopaki chini the bible says it will sprout again by hope there is hope for that tree to sprout again And the kile kitu ambacho kinatusukuma na kusema makarega jia za Mungu ni kuwa na tumaini maana wali waliomjua Mungu wao wanatumaini there is hope for those who knows their god there is hope for those who believe in god uh -huh. there is hope for those who have faith in god oh, yes. even though things are not working uh -huh. you believe that god is there uh -huh. god has declared in my life god has a good plan for me oh, yes. ana mipango mizuri na maisha yangu uh -huh. na tumaini ulio nayo inakushikanisha na imani na ukishika imani you receive the reality of God yes in your amen. life because amen. hope the, the word I'm the blessing of the father uh -huh. it is hope it is the path of hope katika hiyo njia ambayo unafika mwisho watu wanakuangalia wanakuambia wewe umeisha watu wanakuambia angalia wewe hata familia yenu imeisha umebakia peke yako but i've come to tell you tonight even though everyone around you go wewe ni tofauti na wale walioenda because oh, yes. all of us we have a different destiny we were created separately maandiko nasema we were created by the image of god na mungu hawezi akaumba kiumbe chake akakiangamize sure god cannot destroy his own image hawezi akaharibu kiumbe alicho kiumba but what we need it is to be connected into the path of hope the word that was declared in our life believe in that word know that it will come to pass in your life hallelujah amen three things when you misses the blessings of the father mambo matatu yanakutendekea na jambo la kwanza i'm going to read them very quickly one it reads you to the way of sin inakuongoza katika njia ya dhambi remember when esau missed the blessings of the father isaac the next thing he begin to think it is how he gonna kill his brother jacob he was not a killer He was not a murderer. Maandiko nasema alikuwa anaamka asubuhi anaenda mstudi kuwinda na akikuja na mawindo wakati mwingine he shares with the family. Kwa sababu ninaamini kuwa hakuwa anaenda anawinda anakuja na kula swara yote peke yake. 
he could share with them family members and yobana babake na mwambie genesis 27 verses 4 enda mustuni enda mwituni unituni unichinjie ama unitengenezee chakula ninachokipenda the father had already tasted the food from esau so he knew how sweet the food was so he was a generous man but the very day he missed the blessing to the father akaanza kufikiria akaingia katika dhambi he was led to the path of sin and the next thing he was thinking it is to kill and that's why i see so many people and falling in the line wanatoka katika njia za mungu na wana backslide hawa watu si 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 wa si wa hongi sana na kusema wametenda dhambi what i know is that they have missed the blessings of the father because when you are in god kama umemwonja mungu wimbo unisema kunjeni muonje mungu msikie vile ni mtamu ukimwonja mungu you cannot desire again to go to the world I have tested I have tested God for more than 20 years. I told you at the age of 12 I was living in Muganga. Nikajua Uganga ukifanya na mambo hayo yote. And I'm telling you today I cannot test. I cannot desire to go back to the world. Kuna siku moja kwa hiyo ofisi Mama Grace anajua hiyo story. When we just moved in in this building. One mzee came here with 1 million cash money. 1 million 1 2 3 4 cash sio check pesa tasrimu ha hapa kwa hiyo ofisi na kanambia pastor nimekuja kukuona na this one i'm coming to see you i want to help you do the ministry ah wachungaji wengu naona hapa nimewasaidia hizo magari zote unao kiendesha nimewasaidia lakini mistake kubwa aliyofanya ni kuniambia nakuja kunifunza kufanya ministry nikakumbuka neno ambalo liko in john 14 yesu akasema in verses 24 that i'm going to send you a helper who is the holy spirit that is going to help you remind you and teach you all the things that i taught you when i was with you mm-hmm. and he said i'm coming to teach you the ministry because i've taught other people and i looked at him but pale kwa ile meza nikaangalia by the way i've i've i've, I've ever hold even more than a million in cash lakini hiyo siku kwa sababu nilikuwa na shida i remember i walked from my house to the church hiyo asubuhi tulikunywa turungi na ugali kwangu asubuhi. Hiyo siku tulikuwa na miezi tatu tujalipa rent. Hiyo asubuhi mtoto alikuwa amepewa karatasi kama jana ya school fees na fukuzo shule. So the money begin to speak to me na niambia tigawa na kauteshi ragia 1 million. Hey. Ina ile ro. Hey. I told you here the money is a spirit and they talk. Zikaanza kuniambia my friend. Hey. Wakati gapia dika na mtumia wajua kosa wakati kama hakuna pesa kwa nyumba mnakosa nanga na mke kila siku hata chakula tu vikikosa kidogo mnakosana hata ukimwona na mosquito mnakasirishana kwa sababu hamuna pe and the man begin to speak to me eh, the guy is telling me you know what i know sasa kaza unajua pesa zinionyongeresha na yeye anaongeza naambia unajua nini unajua hata unahitaji gari unajua By the way atatukwa tumeweka mabati pande hii unajua tutachaje tutahitaji mabati. And now kitu kinaniambia take the money. But when I was about to take the money nikasikia sauti iliyo kubwa ilikuwa kubwa sana ikaniambia if you take the money you kill the anointing that is in your life. Na niliposikia hiyo kitu nikasikia an anointing kuna kitu kimevuka juu yangu kimejaa nikasikia kitu mzito. I don't know how many of you have ever experienced the presence of God. Sometimes I feel that ninakanga wakati mwingine nasikia uwepo wa Mungu. Ninajaribu hata kuwalk na nasikia something so strong that is hindering me to go. I feel that thing when I was sitting down in that office. Nikasikia kitu kimeingia kitu mzito na nikawa na confidence nikamwambia you cannot teach me the ministry because I'm taught the ministry by the Holy Spirit. Ule jamaa akasimama. Nipo taja Roho Mtakatifu akasimama. Kiwa ameshika pesa akasimama pale kwa mlango. Anambia are you sure Pastor John you don't need this money? Nikamwambia get out toka na pesa zako. I don't need money, I need God. Sasa nimejawa nimekuwa kama wazimu. Akatoa mgu moja, mgu moja iko kwa ofisi na nyingine iko nje. Anambia are you sure? Na anafanya pesa na kiburi. Unajua zimefungwa na na brothers kifanya hivi zafanya. Hey! Chetani anahubiri anambia wewe mkeu. Pole kabisa. Unahitaji pesa unatie pesa ziende. But the anointing was so much. Akana Mungu akanambia I I I believe it was God speaking in me. Sio mimi nilikuwa naongea. I told him you cannot teach me the ministry because I have one teacher by the name of Holy Spirit. And the guy walked with the money. 
Kaona ameenda akaingia alikuwa mpaki gari kubwa sana. Gari ile unasikia zinaitwa chuma. Alikuwa amepaki chuma hapo nje. And he left. I've never seen him again and I don't desire to see him again. In my ministry I know one thing that the devil mimi utajiri na mali za dunia aziweze nikafanya niondokee Mungu. Kama ni siku hiyo ningeondokea Mungu nilikuwa na shida kiatu kimeinama. There is a time we stayed with my family three years. Atujai nunua nguo. Kuna kasuti nime preserve. Ako ninakadhamini kama maisha yangu. Nikaze lakini nimekaweka. Siku moja nitakapofikisha miaka kadhaa ni vasa nitakaleta mkaone. Nilikuwa nimeipiga pasi baka inaanza kuraruka kwa hiyo raini. Na nikikuja kanisani uwepo wa Mungu unashuka. Hiyo siku hiyo sani ambayo ilifuata kuna mama alikuwa kanisani hapa na, na breast cancer akapona. The following Sunday kukakuja mama mwingine alikuwa na, na mtoto alikuwa na skin cancer. Hiyo maneno na, nasema magrese is a witness. Alikuwa na skin cancer akapona. Mama mwingine ambaye anatuoch akiwa Canada alikuwa na shida ambayo ilikuwa imemsukuma for that one years. Hiyo sani alikuja kwa ibada alikuwa alikuwa na tiki ya kwenda kwa Alpha Rukau South Africa akaombewe. But on that Sunday akapona. So when you miss the blessing to the father you engage yourself on the sin. Shetani anakusukuma katika dhambi. Yesu was not a murderer but he was pushed. He was persuaded to go and sin. Amue ndugu yake. Secondly, when you miss the blessing to the father you walk on the way of shame. Maana baraka za baba zinakaa kama mavazi tunaovalishwa, inakaa kama nguo tunaovalishwa inatulinda. Remember when Jacob was coming from Raban and Esau is coming to meet him to kill him. Maandiko nasema walipokutana alimwambia ndugu yake come. Kuja nikubariki maana mavazi yalikuwa yamevalishwa mavazi. Baraka za baba zinakuwa kitu kingine kinaitangwa kitu da. Sio kama mai yenda mahali unakutana mtu unasikia kiwoga kingine. Rais ya kingia hapa saa hizi hata akiwa peke yake ingia tu hapo utaona utasikia kitu kingine kiwoga kimekuingia. Kwa maana kuna upako unaoachiliwa wa ule uoga. And that's why the blessings of the Lord falls upon you. Unafika mahali unaokopwa. Unasimamishwa na traffic wakikuona wanachanganyikiwa. Tumeshikwa juzi tukienda mazishi kisi. Tume speed nilikuwa naendesha gari na 160 na tuko na Oscar na niambi na kimbiza gari. We want to go to Kisii tuzikane na turudi. Tumefikwa tumeshikwa pa. Polisi ananiangalia na shindo utanifanya namna gani? Tumeenda kwa ofisi. Wengine wana wananyanganya ufunguo anaitishwa pesa. Hizo pesa za za receipt ni kwa sababu nilitaka tusichelewe. But kama ningetaka nisipeana singepeana ningeachiliwa. Because I know I carry God. I am senior than the government of Kenya. I am senior than the government of United States of America. Oh yes. Because my boss is not the physical man. My boss is God. Uh-huh. Uh, I have one boss by the name Jesus. I report to him every every now and then. Na yeye ndio anipa mashalti. Mhm. Sina aibu, nimevikwa mavazi ya heshima. I have the blessings of the Father and I declare the same to you. The Lord give you the blessings of the Father that he may give you the garment of honor. Ukienda mahali unaheshimiwa. Leo tulikuwa mahali mazishi. Keno, he are one of our pastor's friend. Tukafika mazishi kulikuwa na wachungaji wengi sana na watu walikuwa wengi maana the mother alikuwa ni anti to apostle William Kimani na alikuwa kule kwa mazishi. Kwa hivyo na expect hiyo mazishi watu wengi walikuwa wamekuja hata wenye wasipomjua huyo ndio waone hawa watu. Na tulipoingia kwa compound nikaona ile heshima ninapewa. Ndio nika, 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 nikaanza kuona I don't deserve this honor lakini kitu kanikumbusha kanambia you are the son of the kingdom in the book of second peter chapter 2 verse 9 the bible says we are peculiar people mm-hmm. we are royal priesthood mm-hmm. we are here us together with christ hey sisi ni watoto wa kifalme mtoto wa kifalme akitandikiwa red carpet hata ukiingia mahali utandikiwa red carpet amen i declare the same to you amen ile ona inapewa watu wa mataifa unapewa because you are not of the government of the earth 
Oh yes. Maandiko yanasema you the government that uh, the government of the earth iko chini ya mamlaka yako. Mungu amekupa mamlaka ya kutawala na kusema na kuongea. Uh-huh. The church has the mandate hata ya kusema ni nani atakaye kuwa rais 2022. Sio kura zinafanya mtu anakuwa rais, ni maneno. The power of life and death it is in the tongue. Na sio tu kwa ulimi ya kila mtu. Uh-huh. It is the ulimi ya wale watu walio vichwa mavazi na waliyekuwa na baraka za Mungu. Na jambo la mwisho ninamalizia. Hey, when you miss the blessing of the Father, you walk on the way of the sorrow. Unaishi katika njia ya uzuni na mateso. Kuna watu ukikutana nao, mtu anakaa tu hata akiwa amefurahi, anakaanga tu kukasirika. Ha? Nilikuwa na mzee mwingine wa kwetu nyumbani, alikuwa anakasirika na fika mahindi ya kambili. The following morning unampata kwa shamba akipanda mahindi. Alafu kile bebe ekaigire na roshini ukamko na kirema akihada bebe lege. Alikuwa anafika mahindi ma, ma, mandizi, ana matali makoro na fika. Hasira. Mm-hmm. Soro. Ana kile kiuzuni ambacho kina provoke hasira. Because when you miss the blessing of the father, it it provoke that sorrow. Unapata tu mtu akona uzuni. Mtu atora na complain aga. Sasa watu mandugu zangu ni mata ogire. Matishi lagi horo wadu wale yake. Huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But we are blessed of God. Amen. We carry the blessings of God. Oh, amen. We carry the blessings of the Father. Amen. Kwa migu ya kwa subi, jioni ya leo. Father, we give you praise. I just want you to take a minute of your time and tell God. Father, I desire. I desire that blessings of the Father. Hiyo baraka, ninaitadi hayo mavazi. I desire that garment. Hiyo, 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 hiyo mavazi ya baba ambaye inanifunika na kuniondolea aibu inaniondolea uchungu inaniondolea hasira inaniondolea yale mambo inanipa tumaini na furaha i desire that blessings and i declare the same in your life father in the mighty name of jesus mashekata reprokozakata yalaba inua tu sauti yako dakika moja mwambie bwana i desire that blessings lord reprokozekete mahande rebozikalabo mashekete mahanda rabazakata reketerebo rihande reboziana mashakata i desire that blessings of the father lord i pray even for the viewers that are watching us and every member that are here this morning lord may you impart them with the blessing of the father ili maisha yao ikabadilike wakainuliwe wakajaze upya wakatembee na nguvu na uweza wakatembee na mamlaka wakatembee na nguvu na upako wa roho mtakatifu maana baraka za mungu ziko juu yao ninaachilia baraka juu yao baraka za ibrahimu yakobo na isaka ulimwambia ibrahimu i will bless you that you may be Come a blessing to other people lord i declare the same blessing to them in the name of jesus lord i impact them with your blessings lord i impact them with the blessing of the father and i declare they shall walk they shall mount like eagle they shall not go weary they shall conquer the mountain they shall conquer the giants they shall cross the rivers and valleys they shall overcome the process of life mashekete raproko zakata mahandere bozakata ya father connect us oh god with the blessings of our fathers oh god we repent if there is one way we have failed to honor our fathers that's why we have missed the impartation of the blessings of our father lord forgive us and connect us afresh In the name of Jesus